Grade 3 math number 49, division by subtracting. Did you know you could do division by subtracting? Well, you can, and I'm going to show you how. I've got it all laid out here. Let's look at this word problem. Emma and Lisa brought 12 newspapers to school for the recycling program. Each girl brought only one newspaper a day. How many days did they bring newspapers? Well, we know that they have 12, okay? So, this is what we know. There's two girls, there's 12 newspapers, and each brought one a day. So, because there's two girls and they each brought one, that means two papers a day were brought to the school, okay? So, when you have a word problem, first, we're going to circle the important things, okay? There were 12 newspapers, they brought one newspaper a day each, and we're looking for how many days, okay? So, we're going to start with the 12, and we're going to subtract two, the two papers each day, until we get to zero. Then we're going to count how many times we subtracted the two. So we start with 12, and we take away the two newspapers they brought, let's say, on Monday. That's the first time. Then on Tuesday, they had 10 newspapers left. And we took away two and got eight. On Wednesday, there was the eight newspapers. They brought two, and then there was six newspapers. The next day, the six take away two is four. The next day is four newspapers take away two, and the next is two take away two. So we were able to take away two newspapers a day to figure out how many days, and it turns out it was six days because it took us one, two, three, four, five, six times to subtract two to get there. So we're saying 12 divided by two equals six. And if you do it in the long division, long division style, two goes into 12 six times. And the six would go above the ones column here because you're not saying two goes into one, see? Then it would go above the 1. You're saying 2 goes into 12, so it has to go above the 2 of the 12, okay? So, Emma and Lisa brought newspapers in for 6 days. Now, there's a way of doing this on a number line. Get a number line, make it from 0 to a number higher than the number you need to start with, the 12, and count back by 2s. 1, 2, 3, 4 four, five, six, twos. See how I skipped twos? One, two here, one, two here. So each of these has two inside of them. And if you look going this way, we're counting by twos. We're skip counting. Zero, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. And that was six bumps up here. So that's six days. So it took six days for them to bring the twelve newspapers in. So if you have a bigger number, like 36, and you had three people bringing them in, then you would just subtract three over and over and over again until you got to zero. And then you would count how many times you subtracted. Now, this is a very, very long way to do division. Your best bet is to just memorize your multiplications table because if you remember, division is the opposite of multiplication, and you would know that 6 times 2 is 12. See? It's the inverse operation. But I just wanted to show you how you could use subtraction to do division. In our next video, I'm going to show you some 11 times table tricks that will amaze you. See you then.